Recently in Europe, more than one in two companies had to deal with a difficult economic situation and, in the best cases, had to restructure or resize. Recent studies have shown that in the near future, it will not be enough to provide a good product or service, but there will also be the need to know how to create and maintain a network of relationships with other companies able to provide it as well. In fact, only through the creation of greater synergies will it be possible to face the reduction of possibilities and resources in this increasingly competitive context. Cresco Company Magazine works in this direction. We involve people who, thanks to uncommon capabilities, contributed to turn their companies into true excellences of Made in Italy. We collected their impressions and witnesses on interesting and current topics. From this it was born, at the same time, a means of information and an instrument of contact between people who have, in Cresco, a common denominator. In this issue, Ezio Palmazzani gives a reading of the phenomena that led to the current economic downturn and illustrates the industrial dynamics of the largest global steel trader. What does Golden Gate, Boborg, and the world's highest skyscraper have in common? They're all built with the same material, steel. Comital, historical Italian company in this sector, looks abroad and gives birth, with the support of Cresco's engineering, to a huge shopping mall on the outskirts of Paris. A company who was able to anticipate several years of orientation to internationalization. Alberto Ferretti outlines his strategic choices and expresses his opinion on the prospects that the emerging markets offer, and in particular, Libya, after the revolution of February 17th. In 2020, one light bulb in every five of our homes will be lit thanks to the sun, wind, water, or other renewable fuel. Andrea Costa, as an expert, shares his point of views on the present and future of the green economy. In the same years, humanity seeks a safe and definitive response from atoms. Emmanuel Verdesio takes us on an amazing journey in the first nuclear passive protection power plant and in the futurist $100 billion plant where they try to create a star. We also focus on the reduction of energy consumption. De Fioca Villupu proposes an ambitious urban renewal project in which design accompanies environmental sustainability. Pierre Luigi Bianchieri, following the collaboration on the project of a rolling mill in Oman, was inspired by Cresco's model to trace the outlines of a successful engineering company. For our part, we'll tell you how Cresco is special. We'll describe the business model, the skills that distinguish us, the strategies and values. You will discover how, through human capital and technological innovation, we strive every day and with every force to ensure the safety of families like ours and yours, while living, having fun, and working. Get your issue on www.cresco-group.com.